What's pandemic posture? This. You know what I'm talking about, pandemic posture. We slouch forward, we roll our lower back forward, our shoulders come internally rotated and our head shoots forward. This posture is from hours behind our computer or in front of a TV and we've been doing more of that in the last two years than we've ever done. In this video, I'm going to show you three stretches or exercises, I guess we could call them structure sizes, that's going to help reverse your pandemic posture to help you feel, heal, and function better. Stay tuned. My name is Dr. John Saunders. Thanks for joining me. And if you're new to my channel, take a look at some of the videos. I'm sure there's a video on here that can help you help yourself in the comfort of your home immediately. And if you like the content you're seeing, maybe you'll consider subscribing to my channel so you can be informed when I upload a new video. When I talk to patients, patients are seeking care for headaches, pinched nerves, sciatica, mid back pain, low back pain, dizziness, mental fatigue, fogginess, you name it, we've seen it. And when I ask patients if this is a new problem or an old problem, there's two answers. A, it's completely new and it's happened since they've been sitting way too much during this pandemic while they're working from home. Or B, those conditions have been made worse by their excessive pandemic posture. There are three main postural patterns that happen when we sit too much and not move. So this is specifically true during this time where we've sat way too much at home, we've not left our house, we've been in front of the computers, after our workday, we typically get in front of the TV and we watch Netflix or some other program and we're sitting too much. Here's what happens. Our spines begin to look like a C or a cashew or a shrimp, whatever you want to call it. This is abnormal posture. We need a curve in the low back, which we call a lumbar lordosis. We need the thoracic spine to not be hyper kyphotic. We need to pull that back. And then we need to take our head and pull our head back all at the same time pulling our shoulders back to keep our posture in the right alignment. Let's get to the three movements I'm going to show you to help get this posture back to here from here. Let's get to it. So for the first exercise, we're going to focus on the lumbar spine and the hips. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll often hear me talk about if your hip mobility is decreased, it's going to increase your lower back pain. Well, from sitting, we need to get our hips moving. So for the first exercise, we're going to come up, bring up the leg. If you can't get it externally rotated on top of your knee, just an easy tuck will be okay. So if this is where you are, we want to pull this up and hold it. We want to elongate our spine. So we want to sit up straight. We want to increase the curve in our lower back. And to get a gentle stretch in the lower back, we're going to just slightly tilt away. Now remember, we're holding our shoulders back. We're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together. We don't want to be like this. So to review, we're going to pull up. If you can get it on top of your knee like this, then we're going to sit up straight, put a little pressure on your knee, sit up straight, pull your shoulders back, and slightly bend to the opposite way. Hold this for 10 to 15 seconds for three sets. Again, we'll switch legs. If this is the movement you're going to do, the knee to chest, that is fine. Or if you can get your leg up, get in the position, sit up tall, get that curve into your lower back, put a little pressure down and slightly bend away. Shoulders back and hold for 10 to 15 seconds. So three sets on each side will take you 45 seconds to a minute. So about two minutes of that stretch. That is stretch or exercise number one. Key points, shoulders back, head neutral, sit tall, get the curve in your lower back, and then perform the stretch. For the second movement, what we're going to do is our feet are going to be flat on the ground. So this is our posture. After working for a while, we're gonna sit up, get the curvature in our lower back, fire the extensors in your lower back, pull your shoulders back, pretend you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades, extend slightly up. So we wanna get that thoracic spine into slight extension with slight extension in our head. We're gonna hold this for 10 to 15 seconds for three sets. Again, we wanna reverse the posture, so we're gonna come up, Get the lordosis up, sit up tall, pull our shoulders back, engage your rhomboids between your shoulder blades, slight head extension, slight thoracic spine extension, 
and hold. We'll do this for three sets with 10 to 15 second holds. That will take you another minute. Okay, for the third and final stretch or exercise or movement, it's probably my favorite. One of the main reasons why I like this one the best is because it gets you out of your chair. So this is gonna be a modified stretch. I'm gonna walk you through this so, we can, so you can feel what you're supposed to feel during this stretch. We're gonna start on our elbows. And what we wanna do for this is just being in this position helps restore the lumbar curve and stretches out the low back, which feels great. But for this one, we wanna make sure we're worrying about our internally rotated shoulders. So for this one, we're gonna be on our elbows. We're gonna screw out our elbows, almost like a screwdriver. We're gonna screw them and really open up the front of the shoulders. Activate the muscles between your shoulder blades. Again, try to pinch them together as you screw out your elbows and then we're gonna raise our head up slightly. This activates some of the extensions in the neck as well. This one is a bit more challenging because it's more of an exercise than a stretch. So you're gonna hold this for 15 seconds or so for three sets. In between your sets, just come down on your chest, rest your chin on your fists. Take a few seconds, breathe through your belly and relax. So if you feel like you're not getting enough stretch on your elbows, you can get up on your hands. Again, the same thought process is we want to get some curve in our lower back. We want to screw our arms into the floor, externally rotating our shoulders, pinching our shoulder blades together, and then slightly extending our head. This one feels fantastic and it is the complete reversed position of that hunched forward pandemic posture. So that third movement adds about another minute. So we're about four to five minutes. For four to five minutes, get out of your chair three times a day, and I can tell you, you will notice a massive change in how you feel, in how you heal, and how you function. Remember, your best posture is your next posture. We need to move, we're designed to move. These exercises will go a long way in helping you reverse the discomfort of that pandemic posture, but you still need to be posture aware. Most people will find it difficult to remember to get up, so one last tip I can recommend is get a glass of water or a water bottle and sip water all day long. It will get you out of your seat because you'll have to go to the washroom, but just put it in your calendar. These take four to five minutes, three times a day. Schedule it like a meeting, make sure you do it, and I can tell you your health will improve. If you have a question or a comment or a suggestion for a future video, please leave it in the comments below. I will get to answer every single one of your questions. And if you like the video, you can show support two ways, giving it a thumbs up and hitting the share button and sharing it with your friends that are suffering from pandemic posture as well. Thank you for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Until then, stay well.